hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel my name is abby if you're new today i'm going to be showing you guys how i achieved this really cute flexi rod set all of the products that i'm going to be using are going to be lot of body products so i start off with the fortify me strengthening leave-in conditioner and then i follow up with the sleek me blowout lotion both products were very amazing. I typically don't use any spray leave-in conditioners, but this one was very hydrating and moisturizing for my hair. To straighten my hair or to blow dry it, I am using the tension method, which just means that I'm pulling my hair from my roots down to my ends and I pass the blow dryer down. Then I use my blow dry brush or my Denman brush, depending on how I'm feeling, to just make sure that my roots and my ends are as stretched as possible. So now we are gonna get into the actual styling and placing of the flexi rods. So I start off by adding some Moisturize Me Curl and Style Milk. This product definitely makes your hair really soft and manageable all while adding shine and hydration. And then I follow up with the Wrap Me Foaming Mousse. Now this product has been one of my favorites for quite a while now. Although it does give a great hold, I do suggest adding a gel or something that has a stronger hold if you live in areas like I do that are more humid or dry that causes your hair to like, you know, lose its definition and get frizzy. So when I see other YouTubers doing their flexi rods, I swear it looks like cake. And I was like, you know what? I can do this. But then I started and as you guys saw like a clip ago, I was struggling to figure out which way it was that I needed to turn this flexi rod. I was so confused, but I made it work. I made it freaking work. It was a little difficult because it's kind of like getting um, like used to the motion of bringing the flexi rod down and like turning it like a windmill. Um, but for the most part, it worked out well. I do have some tips coming up soon about what I did, like what I eventually learned that I had to do in order to get the flexi rod to stay in place and hold the hair in a form that would be really nice when it dried. So here you see me once again struggling to figure out which way to turn this flexi rod because it was different depending on what side of your hair, like what side of my hair I was doing. But eventually it worked out. As you can see, like I've turned the flexi rod and then I pushed my hair down just to make sure I had enough space on the flexi rod. So here's where I give you guys the tips. So the first thing is to wrap the bottom of your hair to the flexi rod and add some more product at the end so it can hold. And you want to twirl the rod in a windmill motion. So what I did was that I took the top of the rod and I turned it down and under. You see what I'm doing? Like it's going down, under, and then down and under. And then when I got to the top, like to the roots of my hair, I just twisted it inward so that it can hold. And I folded the flexi rod down so it can stay in place. And that's it. That's what I learned. Like it was super easy, but not super easy. I think it's more of a practice thing. Like the more you practice, the better you'll be at flexi rods. So I plan on doing a lot more flexi rod sets, okay? So once I finished placing all of my flexi rods, I sat under the hooded dryer for about an hour to an hour and a half. Then I began removing the rods and it was pretty simple. I just twisted, I unhooked and then I twisted the rods down. And honestly, I was very proud. Like my hair looked really cute when I took these rods out. And then I began the separation process. Now, honestly, this is where I feel like I messed up the most because I wasn't as gentle with my twists as much as I should be. I was taking the sections and I was separating it, but I wasn't separating it where the hair felt like it needed to be separated. It, didn't, it wasn't like a natural separation. I kind of just did whatever I wanted, which worked. 
but didn't allow the style to last as long as it should have. So that's a good tip to take with you. Like when you're removing these twists or what do you call these? Yeah, like these curls when you're removing and separating the curls, be super gentle and only separate the hair where it naturally wants to be separated so your style can last. So for my edges, I used the Control Me Edge Gel Black, which was amazing. I really loved using this product because it gave my edges a fuller look since it is a black color. And it did give me a nice lasting hold. The final step is to grab my pick and pick my hair out. And then I used the Illuminate Me Shine Mist, which I really loved. It did give my hair an added scent of shine and moisture. And that's it guys like look look at this flexi rod set like who's to say that this was my first time honestly i really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and i will see you guys in my next one thank you bye